Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on how to calculate course and time for interception in relative motion. So consider two cyclists, cyclist A at position X and cyclist B at position Y. If cyclist A is moving with a velocity VA and cyclist B is moving with a velocity VB and they intercept at position Z after a time T, it implies that vectorially for cyclist A, he will have moved a displacement of V of V A times T to position Z. Therefore, the position vector at Z will be given by O X plus X Z. So O Z is denoted by R A T, meaning position vector at a time T. Then O X is denoted by R A, meaning initial position vector. Then T times V A is the displacement moved from X to Z. So that will be the equation of the path taken by cyclist A. For cyclist B, we shall use the same knowledge oz plus is equal to oy plus yz oz is the position vector after a time t and oy is the initial position vector of cycle sb and yz which is vb vb times t will be the displacement moved by cycle sb therefore the relative displacement of a to b will be given by initial relative displacement plus the time taken times the relative velocity of a to b. We are getting this formula in comparison with this formula. I think you can see where there is r b, we shall put we have put the r a b, r b we have put r a b, b b we, shall, we have put b a b. So that's where the formula comes from. Now r a b is initial relative displacement of a to b, and it's given by the formula r a minus r b. Note that this a is here and this b is there. V a b is is the relative velocity of a to b and it's given by v a minus v b not that a is here and b is there now at the point of collision they will all be at point z meaning their position vectors will be the same therefore r a after time t will be equal to r b at time t now that will be the condition for interception to occur or collision so if we take everything on one side we shall get r a t minus r a r b t equal to zero and we all know that this is the same as relative displacement at time t so that, that we have now got the second condition for interception so there is what the first one was this second one is that that what about the third one now from r a b t being equal to this when we equate when we substitute zero here we shall get this and when you take this one on the other side we shall get that so what does that mean it means that at the point of collision the relative displacement initially is parallel but opposite to relative velocity we shall use this knowledge under geometry so let's go to this problem a tanker is sailing on a fixed course due west, not that word due west, at 30 kilometers per hour. At a time of 9 a.m., a destroyer wishing to refuel is 60 kilometers away on a bearing of 225 from the tanker. If the destroyer travels at 60 kilometers per hour, determine, Roman 1, the direction in which the destroyer should travel in order to reach the tanker. And Roman 2, the time at which the destroyer reaches the tanker so there are two methods you can either use geometry or vector we shall start with geometry now in geometry the first step is to locate the positions of both the tanker and the destroyer and they told us that the destroyer is 160 kilometers away on a bearing of 225 from the tanker bearing of 225 from the tanker so we shall denote the position of the tanker with A and position of the destroyer with D. Now from here T it's 2 to 5. Then the remaining part to make 270 will be 45. So these are, in, are the initial positions of the destroyer and the tanker. Now the next is to see the velocity which is given with a given direction. So they say the velocity of the tanker is 30 km per hour due west. So come here, 30 kilometers due west, we have to reverse it. Why? Because of this formula, velocity of V relative to A is the same as velocity of D minus the velocity of A. So that minus is carried for by reversing the direction of the tanker. So when you reverse it, we shall now come and put it here. This is where it intends to reach, so the velocity of the tanker is there. Now from here to here, the line joining from this starting point to this point where the tanker started from will be the velocity 
city of the destroyer we don't know the direction so shall put their theta and beta there then alpha is here we have managed to get an angle inside therefore we shall use sine rule this 45 corresponds to 60 and this corresponds to theta so we shall say sine theta over 30 will be equal to sine 45 over 60 which is that therefore we shall get our theta as 20.7048 after getting this theta we can now get beta by adding and equating to 45 so this plus this is the same as 45 which is here alternating angles therefore beta will be equal to 45 minus theta which is 20.7048 therefore you will get 24.2952 that will be the directions. Therefore, the direction in which the destroyer should travel is 024.2952. So, Roman 2, they want the time at which the destroyer reaches the tanker. Now, that time will be good by getting this distance at dA with the velocity. We know that this time is distance over the speed. So, we shall get this distance divided by this relative velocity and that will give us the time. So we have to first get relative velocity. We shall get it from sine rule. Since we know this angle, we shall first get this angle since this one is known. And these are angles on a, of a triangle. Then we shall say this velocity divided by sine that will be equal to this velocity divided by that. Now that we know beta, we can get alpha angles of a triangle. So 180 minus 45 minus 20.7048 to get 114.2952. So we shall say now. The relative velocity which is required divided by sine that angle alpha is equal to 60 divided by sine 45. So in that case we shall get our relative velocity as 77.3381 kilometers per hour. Therefore the time will be equal to that distance dA divided by the speed along dA. So it will be 160 divided by 77.3381. We shall get 2.0688 hours, which approximates to 2 hours and 4 minutes. Remember, it started at 9, so we shall add there. In 24 o'clock, it will be add from 9 and 204. It will give us 11.04. So the time it, the destroyer reaches the tanker will be 4 minutes past 11 a.m. Thank you for watching. That has been our show. You're tuning next time for vector approach on the very topic interception please subscribe to my channel roa e-learning platform thank you